faces, strong eyes. Clean faces, strong eyes. If your face is dirty, wash it. Trachoma is everybody's business. Clean face, strong eyes. Well, trachoma, it's, it's a infection where you can get back. Blindness and keep yourself clean in the face. Like when you're little, you have to keep your face clean. Like tell your parents to clean your face or... Clean hands, clean nose, you know. It'll stop the trachoma and stuff. Yeah, it's probably need a bit of a water. Wash know. your hands. Wash your hands, yeah. Have a shower when you, like in the mornings and stuff. Like every day. Bathrooms, toilets. They need to be clean, you know, for the younger ones. So yeah, so they can't catch any germs or anything, yeah. you know. And keep your house clean every day. So. For your little ones. <laughs> you keep yourself clean and wash your clothes so you don't get sick. So they tap running water to wash their hands all the time for eating and that. And cleaning their house, you need water to clean the house and wash dishes too. I mean, water is very important. And they got full bins, wrap them up, put in the bin for the shire guys can come in take the ru rubbish to the tip and clean their yard and their house and have a shower. And Environmental health, you know, it, it covers a broad spectrum of duties around remote communities and one of them is trachoma and it involves going to the schools and, and doing presentations more on an awareness of how to prevent kids from you know, passing on trachoma and all this stuff to family members and friends. So showing them that by simple cleaning the hands, washing the faces, can prevent a lot of these germs from spreading. From what I understand with trachoma, it's a, uh, it's a disease that's preventable and it's, cre it's caused basically through you know, mucus and, and stuff when the kids have runny noses and that and then they spread it to the eyes and that and then from there my understanding is you know uh, bacteria starts to form inside the eyelid which creates what they call follicles and that you know, and then that's a sign that um, yeah they need to go to the clinic and get the um, antibiotics but what I'm trying to educate them in is that if they have leaking taps and all those sort of problems, those little simple problems that the guys have been trained to attend to those problems, if we can fix it interim, yeah, if it's an easy repair, then that's what we do. We go in there and it's maybe the washers need replacing or we can just replace the whole tap. For my guys, I think our work in the community has been a benefit also because I say, you know, regardless of what we do guys, you know, you're the role models for your people because they see you working, you're doing something positive and it makes them feel good at the end of the day too, so. I couldn't ask for a better bunch of guys, really. It's, they make my job easy at times because they talk the language, they communicate well with the elders in the community who feel a bit standoffish when they see me coming along, you know, but, uh, when the boys come along and they start talking nung and dada to them, then they understand and you know, they invite you in. Clean faces, strong eyes. Trachoma is everybody's business. If your face is dirty, wash, wash it. it. You only need a little bit of water. Trachoma can make you blind. Clean faces, strong eyes.